This is Breckenridge County Fighting Tiger Basketball on 104.3 The River. Coverage is brought to you by Bluegrass Lumber and Hardware, Brandenburg Telecom, Breckenridge Health, First State Bank, Irvington Gas Company, Joe Benabaco Plumbing and Rental, Taylor Pharmacy, and by Wright Implement Company. Back with you at the Cloverport Sports Center for game number two of tonight's doubleheader between the Breckenridge County Fighting Tigers and the Cloverport Aces. About 10 minutes away from the start of this ball game, Breckenridge County looks to rebound from the 55-46 loss last night to Whitesville Trinity. Again, the Fighting Tigers got out to a quick start of that ball game. They broke out to an early 9-2 lead, but then Whitesville Trinity responded with an 18-2 run to gain a advantage and never trailed the rest of the way. They led by double digits on a couple of occasions. Breckenridge County did battle back in both halves from 10 point plus deficits, but could draw no closer than five, which was at halftime before the contest ended with the nine point result. In that game from last night, Breckenridge County was led on the night by Hunter Barr. He finished the night with 15 points, but he's the only Tiger player in double figure scoring from the night. For there, the scoring dropped down. Braden Carmen had six points for the Tigers by my book, followed by Chase Hardesty and Jonah Miller each with five points in the ball game. So Breckenridge County looking to get into the win column here tonight as the Tigers again still try to make progress on this season, getting the key pieces to fit. We'll talk more about the Cloverport Aces coming up in just a couple of minutes as our pregame coverage continues, brought to you by the home folks of Hardinsburg Tire Service. This is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River and WXBC1043.com. Are you aware of all the health care services offered right here in Breckenridge County? Allison Mattingly here from Breckenridge Health to let you know there are so many services we provide right here so you don't have to travel far. Surgery, new providers, ear, nose and throat, outpatient therapy services, cardiac rehab and so much more. To find out more about the services offered call 270-756-7000 or go to www.mybreckhealth.org. Back with you at the Cloverport Sports Center about seven minutes before the start of tonight's second game between the Fighting Tigers and the Cloverport Aces. Cloverport winless in three outings to date on the season with losses to McLean County, Whitesville Trinity, and Christian Educational Consortium. The Aces do return several players from last year's team, including this year's leading scorer in Cole Weatherholt, who's averaging just over 11 points a game. Also returning from last year's squad, Dorsey Emery, Nathan Poole, Van Hall and Connor Lagadinos. They combine for just over 23 points a game. The Aces on the season shooting at 31% from the field, only 11% from three-point range. It has been a struggle from the free throw line as well. They've been to the line 17 times and converted on 17 of those free throw attempts during the course of the season. For Breckenridge County, the key has got to be sustaining fast starts. They've opened impressively in three of the games they played this year against Grayson, against Ohio, and last night against Whitesville. However, it has been in the second quarter, all three of those teams made a response and it took the lead back. Breckenridge County was not able to answer, but hopefully tonight the Tigers can find some answers, especially as they try to fit pieces into the season. Of course, Breckenridge County last night was out without Mercer Rogers due to an illness issue. We'll see if he is available again tonight as we'll wait for the introduction of the starting lineups coming up in just a couple of minutes. As we mentioned, it is the second of three games this week for both the Lady Tigers and Fighting Tigers. After tonight, it will be back to Tiger Arena for a home matchup with the Meade County Green Waves and Lady Waves will be on the air at around 5.15 on Friday afternoon for pregame coverage ahead of the girls game that starts at 5.30, boys game tentatively set for around 7 o'clock on Friday night. Before then, though, we invite you to join us for another edition of Inside Tiger Nation here on 104.3 The River, our weekly review of Fighting Tiger Sports. Coming up, we'll talk with Lady Tiger coach Chad Mormon and Fighting Tiger coach Jeff LaGrange about the opening weeks of the high school basketball season. We also hope to have a conversation with Lady Tiger basketball coach Kylie Carr, Lady Tiger basketball player Kylie Carby, and then, of course, roundtable discussion about college 
football and basketball as the college football regular season winding up college basketball starting to get underway as well. Hopefully we'll get some roundtable discussion on that as well. Tune in for another edition of Inside Tiger Nation. That comes your way on Wednesday afternoon at 5 here on the Sports Voice of Breckenridge County, 104.3 The River. Both teams have gone back to the locker room to get last-minute instructions before we get tonight's ball game underway. Coming up, we will have the introduction of the starting lineups and the opening tip-off for tonight's game between Breckenridge County and Cloverport. Our pregame coverage has been brought to you by the home folks of Hartensburg Tire Service. This is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River at WXBC1043.com. At Wright Implement, you'll find the full line of John Deere mowers, gators, tractors, ag equipment, John Deere apparel, toys, and more, along with a complete line of steel and Honda power equipment. And we have a parts and service department that's second to none. Wright Implement has 15 locations throughout Kentucky and Southern Indiana to serve you. The right equipment, the right service, and always the right price. Wright Implement, serving great customers like you since 1936. Online at WrightIMP.com. Back to the Cloverport Sports Center. As we are just a couple of minutes away from the start of tonight's ball game between Breckenridge County and Cloverport. Going to be starting just a little early this evening as the first game actually ended quickly. The Lady Tigers securing a 59-5 win over Cloverport tonight in a game that went to running clock in the second half, meaning we're getting started just a little early here. Cloverport is back out on the court right now. Breckenridge County has just emerged from the locker room. As we are approaching start time for this ball game, we will have the introduction of the starting lineup. We will try to pick those up as we go along here over the next few minutes. Breckenridge County dressed in road black with maroon and white numbering and trim. The Aces dressed in home white with blue and black trim. The teams around their respective benches as we're set to have the introduction of starting lineups for tonight's game. We'll pick up those lineups for you as they are introduced to us here this evening. Again, the Fighting Tigers looking down the bench to see just seeing who's available. It looks like Mercer Rogers likely not available again tonight as I do not see him dressed out for the game. We'll pick up the we're about to have the introduction of the starting lineups here, and we'll pick those up as they are introduced. Coach Jeff LaGrange in front of us in a conversation with a member of the officiating crew. As we're set to have the introduction of the starting lineups, we'll pick up Breckenridge Counties as they are introduced here this evening to you. Breckenridge County uh, seated just to our right here at the scorer's table at the Cloverport Sports Center. Hunter Barr will start at center. Number two, a 6'7 senior. Colton Miller at a guard for Breckenridge County. Number 21, a 5'8 senior. Jonah Miller will make a start at a forward at number 11. Miller, 6'2", and a freshman. Number 30 is Devin Spaulding, a 5'8", junior. And the final starter tonight is Leland Board, number 4, a 5'10", sophomore. Breckenridge County with a record of 0-3, coached by Jeff LaGrange. Now the introduction of the starting laps for the Cloverport Aces. Caden Greenwood, number one, starts at a guard, 5'7", 8th grader. Dorsey Emery, number two, is a 5'9", sophomore. Cole Weatherholt, number 20, 5'9", junior, the leading scorer at 11.3 per game. Thaddeus Hall, number 32, he is a 6'0", senior. And the final starter to be introduced, number 33, Connor Lagadinos, a 6'0", senior. Weatherholt, Emery, Hall, Lagadinos, and Greenwood. The starters for the Cloverport Aces with a record of 0-3, coached by Jason Hurst. And before the game begins, I believe Breckenridge County was assessed a technical foul as a free throw attempted by Lagadinos. 
Second free throw is no good. So we'll dispense with the center jump and it'll be Cloverport's basketball to begin the game. Aces basketball as Dorsey Emery gets to the inside. Ball gets knocked away. Fight on the floor. Picked up by Colton Miller. Miller is tied up. And we get and believe a jump ball. The alternating possession will favor Breckenridge County. Breckenridge County moving from right to left. For those of you on radio listening tonight, board with the basketball on the right side. Gets the ball to Colton Miller. Spalding with it on the left side. Back out front. Cloverport opens 2-3 zone. Colton Miller with it. They lob the ball down low to Hunter Barr. Kicks it over to Devin Spaulding. Back to Barr in the paint. Turn around. Short jumper. No good. Rebound comes down to Cloverport's Thaddeus Hall. Emery will bring the ball across the time stripe. Emery gets the ball down low. Weatherhold kicks it out front. Greenwood back over. Cloverport will reset their offense. Lagadinos with it. Gets the ball to Hall. Hall to Emery. Emery drives on Spalding. Puts up the jumper off the glass. Good. Cloverport with the early advantage. As Emery gives Cloverport a 2-0 lead. At the other end, here's Barr with an eight-footer that is good. Ties the game at two. 6.42 to go here in the first quarter. Breckenridge Gally picks up with some full court pressure. Weatherholt with the basketball ahead to Lagadinos, and he traveled with the basketball. Took a step, then drug the pivot foot, trying to pass the ball away. Turnover gives the ball back to Breckenridge County. Jonah Miller inbounds to Colton Miller. Spalding with it, gets the ball to Hunter Barr. Now Colton Miller with it. Here is Spalding, bluffs the three, steps inside, now kicks it over. Colton Miller will launch a three pointer that is no good. Rebound comes down to Cloverport's Connor Lagadinos. 6.15 to go here in the opening frame. Tied at two, Cloverport with a basketball. Here is the drive inside. Ball knocked away from Caden Greenwood. Last touched by Breckenridge County. Lagadinos will inbounds the basketball. Clock stopped with 6.02 to go here in the opening quarter. Breckenridge County bench was assessed a technical foul to start the game. Here is a three-point attempt on the way by Weatherholt. No good. Barr collects the rebound for Breckenridge County. Barr ahead to Leland Board. He is fouled as he goes to the basket, so he will head to the line. That will send Leland Board. Actually, they will... Rule it before the shot. Hunter Barr with the basketball. Spalding gets it down low to Colton Miller. Here's Barr with it. Barr drives down the lane, puts it off the glass and in. Hunter Barr gives Breckenridge County its first lead of the night at 4-2. Here is Cole Weatherholt with it. Weatherholt loses the handle, picked up by Lagadinos for Cloverport. Lagadinos as Miller tries to go for the steal. Lagadinos backs it out. Two and a half minutes into the ball game. Breckenridge County up four to two. Here's the ball down low. Intended for Hall, but the pass too strong. Breckenridge County gets it back. Jonah Miller will inbounds the basketball ahead to Colton Miller. Two, two three, and by Cloverport. Spalding with the basketball. Here is Leland Board going to try a three-pointer that's an air ball. Hunter Barr collects it for Breckenridge County. Barr gets the ball to Board. Gets it to Hunter Barr. Kicks it out front. Here Spalding going to launch a three-pointer that is good. Joe Benabaco plumbing and rental three-point basket for Devin Spalding. Breckenridge County has scored the last seven after Cloverport took the lead. Here's Emery driving to the basket against Barr. Throws up the shot, no good, and draws the foul. Foul will be on Hunter Barr. That will be his first, team first against Breckenridge County. At the line will be Dorsey Emery for two free throws. First attempt on the way is good. 
Emory with three points of the ball game. Breaks the 7-0 run by Breckenridge County. Emory will get another attempt here. First free throw is on the way. Back of the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Colton Miller. Miller with the basketball. Ahead to Devin Spaulding. Leland Board with it. Board down low to Hunter Barr. Out front, here's Board going to try a three-pointer. In and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Thaddeus Hall. Ball knocked away by Hunter Barr. And Barr has just picked up his second foul of the game. As Braden Carmen will check into the lineup, Barr has to sit down. Cloverport basketball to bring the length of the floor. Hall with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Weatherholt. Weatherholt drives on Carmen. Puts up the shot no good, but draws a foul from Braden Carmen. Picks up Carmen, picks up his first team third, and that will send Weatherholt to the free throw strike. Four two shots. Cloverport has already been to the line four times of this ball game. Weatherholt converts on their fifth opportunity. Seven to four the score. Lane Tall will check into the ball game for Breckenridge County. Weatherholt will try the second of the two free throws. Rattles in. Weatherholt with two points. Cloverport has scored three in a row here. They've cut it down to a 7-5 ball game. Breckenridge County with the basketball. Here is a whistle and a three-second violation against Breckenridge County. And a timeout's going to be taken by Cloverport with 4.13 to go here in the first quarter of play. It's Breckenridge County 7, Cloverport 5. Back after this timeout, you're listening to Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 of the River and WXBC1043.com. How many times have you called someplace and heard this? For customer service, press 1. At First State Bank, when you call one of their three locations, you'll hear this. First State Bank, this is Michelle. How may I help you? From opening a checking or savings account to home or commercial loans, you'll get a friendly voice ready to assist with your banking needs. Call or stop by today and find out why for more than 100 years, First State Bank, where your friends bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Online at FirstStateBankKY.com. 4.13 remaining here in the opening quarter. Breckenridge County leading 7-5. Cloverport scored the game's first basket. Breckenridge County went on a 7-0 run. Cloverport has scored the last three. Aces break the press as the ball tipped up in the air. Weatherholt comes away with it, being guarded by Braden Carmen. Here's an off-balance shot, no good. Race for the rebound, track down, still on the floor, out of bounds. And it will go to Breckenridge County, last touched by Cloverport. Breckenridge County with Chase Hardesty, Colton Miller, Jackson Lee, Lane Tall, and Braden Carmen in the ball game. Lee with the basketball for Breckenridge County. Runner off the glass, no good. Fight for the rebound is picked up by Cloverport. Connor Lagadinos with it for the Aces, bringing the ball up the floor. Greenwood with the basketball. Gets the ball to Weatherholt, but they say he traveled first, so turnover gives it back to Breckenridge County. Tiger basketball to bring from side back court. Colton Miller with it for the Tigers with 3.35 left to go here in the quarter. Lee with the basketball into the ball game. Out front, Chase Hardesty takes it. Gets the ball to Colton Miller. Out front, Jackson Lee squares up. Three-pointer for the right side, too strong. Rebound fought for and picked up. Actually out of bounds. Last touch by Cloverport. Substitution into the lineup for the Aces is number three, Weston Perkins, a 5'9", eighth grader. Weatherholt with the basketball. Lagadinos with it. Gets the ball to Hall into the front court. Lagadinos holds it up for the Aces as we head to three minutes to go here in the quarter. And Cloverport turns the, doll, the ball over on a carry. Out front, Tall with the basketball. Tall with it to Miller. 
Braden Carmen steps to the inside, lost the handle, tries to force up the shot. We'll get a travel and give it back to Cloverport. Both teams right now struggling to find some momentum in this ball game. Breckenridge County had a little run going. But some foul trouble as we get a double team and a foul on Breckenridge County's Jackson Lee. That'll be his first, team fourth. Across the time stripe comes Cloverport. Down low, Hall with it. Nice give and go. Puts up the shot and no good. Rebound fought for by Braden Carmen for Breckenridge County. Carmen will get the ball to Chase Hardesty. Into the front court with it. Here's a ball going to the floor. Colton Miller fights for it. Still on the floor. Four or five players on the ground. Finally, the whistle blows. We'll get a substitution. Wyatt Burnett will check in, number 24, for Breckenridge County. When it's all said and done, I believe they're going to rule it as an alternating possession that will favor Cloverport. Caden Greenwood will check back into the ball game for the Aces. Breckenridge County has Colton Miller, Chase Hardesty, Jackson Lee, Wyatt Burnett, and Lane Tall in the ball game as Breckenridge County trying to apply some full court pressure. Cloverport breaks the, the press, back slapped away by Colton Miller, but rescued by Weatherholt, who goes to the basket, puts it up and in. So Cloverport now with 5-0 run of their own, and have tied the game at 7. Down to two minutes to go here in the first half. Ball tipped up, no good. Scramble picked up by Lane Tall, can't hang on to the football. Feels more like a football game right now. Colton Miller to win bounds for Breckenridge County. Miller goes to the floor, still fought for, finally picked up. Here's a shot, no good. Fight for the rebound. Finally, Jackson Lee goes in and puts it in. Miller gives, or Lee gives the lead back to Breckenridge County at 9 to 7, a minute 38 to go here in the first quarter as we'll get a reach in foul on the Tigers. Foul is going to be on Chase Hardesty for Breckenridge County. That is his first, the team fifth. Inbounds, Connor Lagadinos to Cloverport. Brings it into Hall. Hall on the left side will bring it back to balance the floor with a bit of 30 left to go here in the first quarter. Weatherholt with it for Cloverport. Here's Weatherholt driving, splits the defense, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Jackson Lee. Lance Poole into the ball game for Breckenridge County. Number 23, Poole with a 12-footer, no good. Dorsey Emery collects the rebound for Cloverport. Emery with the basketball. Gets it to Weatherholt on the left side. One minute to go here in the quarter. Weatherholt lost the handle, pulls it back. 12-footer on the way is good. Weatherholt with his sixth point of the ball game. Ties it at nine. Final minute of this opening quarter of play. Poole with the basketball. Kicks it over to Lee. Squares. Three-pointer on the way. Good for a Joe Benabaco plumbing and rental three-point basket. Lee with his fifth point of the night. Breckenridge County retakes the lead at 12 to 9. Ball knocked away by Poole, but stepped on the sideline before he could head up the floor. So Cloverport gets it back with 28.8 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Weston Perkins will check into the ball game for Cloverport. Hall sits down, Dorsey Emery across the time stripe for the Aces. Try to drive to the inside, cut off by Lance Poole. Lagadinos with it, gets the ball down low to Emery, scramble, ball goes to the floor, still on the ground, picked up by Wyatt Burnett. Burnett in the front court ahead to Lance Poole, Poole drives to the basket, lays it off the glass, no good. Rebound, Jackson Lee puts it up, good, and draws the foul. Lee with his seventh point of the night, gives Breckenridge County back a five-point lead. Free throw attempt upcoming here for Lee, who's got seven in the ball game. On the way and good. 
Breckenridge County with her biggest lead of the night at 15 to nine. Here's a shot that is good. Actually, they'll wave it off. So the quarter has come to an end with the score. Breckenridge County 15, Cloverport 9. Tonight's first quarter brought to you by Commonwealth Machining on Rupert Askins Lane in Harned. This is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River and WXBC1043.com. So you've heard us talking about Brandenburg Telecom, and we could have chosen any other provider for our phone, internet, TV, and security service, but we chose Brandenburg Telecom. It is not hard to find a good deal these days. What it is hard to find is a provider that delivers the best value of service. That's exactly what we're getting with Brandenburg Telecom. They don't trick you with introductory rates. They don't keep you waiting for service or waiting on the phone. When they say they're going to do something, they do it. Brandenburg Telecom are people who live and work and play in my community. They're part of this community, and that's why they care. If you only have one service with Brandenburg Telecom, you're missing out on their other great services. Give them a chance. You won't be disappointed. I'm ready for the program. Breckenridge County uses a 6-0 run to end the quarter after Cloverport had tied the game at nine. And right now it is a 15-9 lead in favor of Breckenridge County. Tigers come up with a basketball after Cloverport's opening possession as Jackson Lee tries to drive down the lane and travels with the basketball, so give it back to the Cloverport Aces. Breckenridge County being led in scoring by Jackson Lee with eight points. Of course, it is Cole Weatherholt with six for Cloverport. Breckenridge County trying to apply full court pressure. Cloverport able to beat the press. Lagadinos with the basketball will back it out for the Aces. Moving it to the right side of your radio dial here in the second quarter. Off balance shot, no good. Rescued by Lance Poole for Breckenridge County. Tigers trying to bring the ball up the floor. Poole was looking for Lane Tall, but the pass went inside. Tall was cutting to the outside. Jacob Henning will check into the ball game for Breckenridge County, number 33. Colton Miller heads to the bench, but will have to wait. Full court pressure being employed by the Tigers. Hall with it, being guarded by Wyatt Burnett. Hall gets the ball ahead, ball knocked away, picked up by Burnett. Tall kicks the ball ahead, here's Henning goes in, off balance shot, no good. But he draws the foul and will head to the line. Foul's going to be on Dorsey Emery for Cloverport. That'll be his first team third on the Aces. And Henning will go to the free throw stripe. First free throw attempt is on the way. No good. One more attempt here for Henning. Breckenridge County is one of two from the line on the night. Free throw on the way. This one is good. And he extends the Breckenridge County lead to 16 to 9. 7.05 to go here in the first half. Weatherhold with it, guards against Wyatt Burnett, steps into the lane, forces up the shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Burnett, has the ball knocked away, still on the floor. Hardesty tries to rescue it, gets it to Lance Poole. Ball taken away from Poole, a wild scramble. Finally, Cloverport comes away with the basketball. And the Aces take the ball back with 6.44 to go here in the first half. Here is the ball going out of bounds. Greenwood tried to rescue it for the Aces, unable to do so in time. Breckenridge County was actually heading down the floor. But the official blew the whistle. And Breckenridge County gets the ball back. We'll have to reset on their offense. Cloverport with a 2-3 zone. Hardesty gets the ball down low to Burnett. Emery goes in and takes it away from Burton. We get a tie-up. And when you see, they will call the jump ball that will favor Breckenridge County. Very ragged game at the moment. Both sides scrambling right now. Again, both teams struggling to find any sort of momentum in this ball game. Breckenridge County right now with the current run. Three-point basket, good for Chase Hardesty, a Joe Benabaco plumbing and rental three-pointer. Breckenridge County now out to a 10-point lead at 19-9. 10-0 run by the Tigers here. Cole Weatherholt with it for Cloverport across the time stripe. 
Hardesty guarding him. Weatherholt goes on the drive into the lane, pushes up the shot, gets the kind roll. Weatherholt with eight points of the ball game, 19 to 11. Breckenridge County's lead at eight as Heading drives down the lane, draws contact, and will head to the line. Foul is going to be on Connor Lagadinos for Cloverport. That will be his first, team fourth. Weston Perkins will check into the ball game for the Aces. They'll rule the foul before the shot, so Breckenridge County will end down bounds underneath their own basket. Burnett with the basketball, brings it into Colton Miller, squares. Three on the way, too strong. Here's Braden Carmen goes up, hits the side of the rim, no good, but draws contact and will head to the line. Foul is going to be on Cloverport's Thaddeus Hall. That'll be his first, team fifth. Braden Carmen will head to the line. First free throw on the way is no good. Hunter Barr will check into the ball game for Breckenridge County to replace Jacob Henning. Barr comes back in with those two personals. The 6-1 sophomore, Carmen, back to the free throw line. Second attempt is no good. Rebound comes down. Burnett tries a little hook shot and knocks it in. Burnett's first points of the ball game. Makes it a 21-11 score. Breckenridge County again applying the full court pressure here. Here's Weatherhold with it. And we get a whistle and a foul. And Hunter Barr has just quickly picked up his third personal foul. So Barr only in the game for just a few seconds. And he will have to head to the bench. Devin Spalding will check back in as Cloverport will head to the free throw line. As Cloverport already in the bonus situation. Free throw on the way by Weatherholt is good. Weatherholt with nine points in the ball game. Another free throw on the way is good. Makes it 21 to 13. Over four to within eight, five and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Here's a three pointer good from Devin Spalding. His second Joe Betabaco plumbing and rental three point basket of the game. Breckenridge County will take a timeout. Five minutes, 24 seconds left to go here in the first half. Breckenridge County 24, Cloverport 13. This is Fighting Tigers Sports from 104.3 The River. Experience the difference of the Big Green Egg Ceramic Cooker from Irvington Gas Company. It's a smoker, a grill, an oven, all in one. It's easy to start reaching cooking temperatures in just 10 minutes with temperature control so you can cook to perfection. It's safer to use and it's easy to clean up. Stop by Irvington Gas Company on Highway 79 to see the Big Green Egg and other gas grills available. Irvington Gas Company, serving this area for more than 75 years. Breckenridge County enjoys their biggest lead of the night at 24 to 13. After the three-point basket by Devin Spalding, his second Joe Betabaco plumbing and rental three-pointer of the night. Coach Jeff LaGrange calling a timeout, urging his team onward here. Tigers with a little bit of momentum, although with some foul trouble, Hunter Barr has had to go to the bench with three personals. Leading scorers of the ball game, Jackson Lee has eight points for Breckenridge County. Cole Weatherholt leads all scorers with 10 points. Tigers picking up with some full court pressure. Cloverport inbounds the basketball. Weatherholt being guarded by Colton Miller. Weatherholt looking to get the ball away. Ball knocked away by Colton Miller, but it was called a kick. So give it back to Cloverport with 5.06 to go in the game. It has just been, we've had Four ties in the ball game. Breckenridge County right now again enjoying their biggest lead in the night. Cloverport breaks the press as Greenwood will put it up and in. Caden Greenwood with his first points of the ball game. Makes it 24 to 15. Ball goes inside, knocked away, picked up by Cloverport. Emery with the basketball for the Aces. He'll hand it off to Weatherholt to across the time stripe with 4.45 left to go here in the first half. Ball gets knocked away. 
And comes back to Breckenridge County. Substitution, Lagadinos back into the game for Cloverport as Hall will sit down. Jonah Miller, Lance Poole, Jackson Lee, and Lane Tall will check into the ball game for Breckenridge County. Four minutes, 41 seconds left to go here in the first half. Breckenridge County 24, Cloverport 15. Tigers have never trailed in the ball game. We've had three ties. Their biggest lead has been at 11. Here's Spalding gonna launch a three-pointer, got it. Devin Spalding's third Joe Bennett Backo plumbing their metal three-point basket of the night. Gives Breckenridge County a 12-point lead at 27 to 15. Lagadinos facing full court pressure, gets across the time stripe, caught in a double team, gets the ball to Greenwood. Greenwood to Emery, Emery steps inside, ball knocked away, drives to the basket and draws contact. And Emery will head to the line. Foul is going to be on Breckenridge County's Jackson Lee, and that is his second. So Barr on the bench with three. Lee on the court with two. Emery will head to the free throw line. One of two on the night from the charity stripe. Misses the first attempt. He'll have one more. Emery with three points in the ball game. Emery, another attempt upcoming here. On the way in and out, no good. Rebound collected by Lance Poole for Breckenridge County. Tigers in the front court, Lee with the ball. Gets it over to Tall on the left side. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound comes down to Lagadinos for Cloverport. Aces bring the ball up the floor under four minutes remaining here in the first half. Jonah Miller guarding Lagadinos, who heads to the free throw stripe. Working against Miller. Looking for someone, now gets the ball out front to Weatherholt. Weatherholt kicks the ball over. Here is a runner on the way by Greenwood as an air ball, but Perkins right there on the rebound puts it up and in. Perkins first point to the ball game. Pulls Cloverport to within 10 at 27-17. Shot no good at the other end. Here's Spalding off the miss. Goes back up to put it up and in. Spalding with 11 points in the ball game to make it 29-17. But a foul on the pressure by Breckenridge County. Foul, I believe, is on Lance Poole. Picks up his first. And again, Cloverport going to the line. It will be Weatherholt at the free throw line, misses the attempt. The rebound comes down to Jonah Miller for Breckenridge County. Leland Board with a basketball to Jonah Miller. Now tall with it out front to Miller. Leland Board kicks it out front to Miller. He'll pull up 17 footer on the way as an air ball rebound. Fought for, pulled away by Cloverport's Connor Lagadinos. Aces will bring the ball up the floor, lost the handle, picked up by Breckenridge County. Here's Spalding, lays it off the glass and in. Devin Spalding with his 13th point of the ball game, and Cloverport wants to take a timeout. Two minutes, 39 seconds remaining here in the opening half. It is Breckenridge County 31, Cloverport 17. This is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River and WXBC1043.com. If you need home medical equipment, rely on Taylor Pharmacy. They deliver home medical equipment such as oxygen, lip chairs, hospital beds, and CPAP machines to Breckenridge and surrounding counties. They have everything a patient needs for recuperating at home. Taylor Pharmacy does so much more than fill prescriptions. They carry a full line of diabetic shoes, have a gift department, and of course make delicious tailor-made fudge in a variety of flavors that include sugar-free. Stop by Taylor Pharmacy in Hardinsburg and see why your family and the Taylor Pharmacy family make a good team. Two minutes, 39 seconds left to go here in the first half of play. Breckenridge County enjoying their biggest lead of the night at 31 to 17. Leading score in the ball game, Devin Spalding coming off the bench tonight, actually making the start tonight for the Tigers. Spalding leading the way with 13 points. Across the way it is Cole Weatherholt with 10 for Cloverport. Tigers picking up with full court pressure. Trying to get the ball in. 
And a five second call as time ran out on the aces. And Breckenridge County picks up the basketball on the turnover. 239 remaining here in the opening half of play. We get a whistle as Lane Tall goes to the line. Foul is going to be on Cloverport's Thaddeus Hall. That'll be his second. It will be Lane Tall going to the free throw stripe for the first time tonight for Breckenridge County. Tall's free throw back of the rim, no good. One more attempt on the way with 2.37 left to go here in the half. Tigers up 31-17. Second attempt on the way by Tall is good for his first point of the ball game. 32-17 with 2.34 to go here in the quarter. We get a whistle and a foul on Breckenridge County's Wyatt Burnett. Burnett will pick up his first, but it will be the double bonus situation as Braden Carmen will come into the ball game. And it'll be Caden Greenwood heading to the free throw stripe for Cloverport. Greenwood has two points in the ball game. First free throw on the way by Greenwood is good. Greenwood with three points in the ball game, 32 to 18. 14 point lead for Breckenridge County. Greenwood with one more attempt up coming here. On the way and good. 13 point lead for the Tigers. Two and a half minutes to go until halftime. Tall with the basketball, ahead to Spalding. Three pointer doesn't go this time. Rebound comes down to a Cloverport. Aces on the run, here's Weatherholt, four against two. He'll run it off the glass and in. Cole Weatherholt with his 12th point of the ball game, 32-21. Here is Braden Carmen, gets to the paint, puts it up and in for his first point of the ball game. 34-21. Tigers up by 13, two minutes to go in the first half. Aces break the press as Weatherholt drives the basket, puts up the shot, no good. Jonah Miller collects the rebound for Breckenridge County. Miller drives coast to coast, splits the defenders, lays it off the glass short. Braden Carmen fights for the rebound. He puts it back up, can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. Carmen puts it back up, gets it in, and draws the foul. Carmen with his fourth point of the ball game. Foul is going to be on Thaddeus Hall as he picks up his third. Thirty-six to twenty-one, the score. Carmen will go to the line to try to complete a three-point play here and give the Tigers a sixteen-point lead. Free throw attempt is good. Carmen with five points on the night. Tigers continue to extend the lead now, sixteen at thirty-seven twenty-one. Emery with a basketball for Cloverport drives the baseline, puts up the shot. He makes the basket and he'll head to the line. Foul is going to be he signaled the number four. Not seen. Board is out on the floor as Emery knocks down the free throw. Emery with a three-point play. He has six points in the ball game. 37 to 24. Whistle at the other end. And the ball comes back to Cloverport. Inbounds. Lagadinos with it. Ball knocked out of bounds. Rescued. Actually, it'll go back to Breckenridge County. Jackson Lee will check into the ball game. Inbounds, Jacob Henning. Henning gets the ball to Leland Board. Out front, Lee squares. Three-pointer on the way, good. Joe Benabacco plumbing and Reynolds three-point basket for Jackson Lee, his 11th point of the ball game. Gives Breckenridge County a 40-24 lead. Ball taken away by Spalding. Bounce pass ahead to Board, lays it off the glass and in. So the full-court pressure defense pays off, but... Play stopped as we have an injured player on the court. It is Dorsey Emery. Now gets back up on his feet. Trying to clear the cobwebs out as Breckenridge County 
has extended their lead to 18 at 42-24. Tigers have won the best quarters of the season to date as they have taken the margin out to 18 as they scored 27 here in the second frame. Cole Weatherholt across the time stripe. Lagadinos back to Weatherholt at the top of the key inside the final minute of this opening half. Perkins has the pass intercepted. Leland Board racing down the floor. Weatherholt to beat, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Cloverport as Lagadinos tries to clear position. They'll get a reach in foul on Breckenridge County's Braden Carmen. Carmen will pick up the foul, second of the game at the line. It is Lagadinos for two free throws. First free throw is good. One more attempt. Lagadinos with his first point of the ball game makes it 42-25. Second free throw on the way is good. 42-26 now the score. Here is Henning, gets the ball off to Hardesty. Spalding squares, three-pointer is too strong. Fight for the rebound, Spalding gets it back. Kicks it over in the corner. Lee will try one from the left side, no good. Rebound, Hardesty gets it back to Lee, drives down the lane, lost the handle, out of bounds, and will go back to Cloverport. Aces basketball with 19 seconds left to go here in the first half. 42-26 is the score. Weatherholt takes his time bringing it up the floor. Aces likely to go for one here. Out front, Lagadinos on the right side. Here's the pass intercepted to by Leland Bourne, and we get a foul on Cole Weatherholt. Weatherhold picks up the foul. That would be his first. 3.7 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Chance for the Tigers. Actually, they're going to call it a bonus situation. So at the line will be Leland Board. Had a basket earlier in this quarter. Steps up for one of the bonus here with 3.7 seconds left to go in the quarter. First attempt by Board. In and out, no good. Rebound fought for. Rescued in to Hall, who's unable to make anything happen, and the first half has come to an end. At the end of the second quarter here at the Cloverport Sports Center, it is Breckenridge County 42, Cloverport 26. Tonight's second quarter brought to you by Hardensburg Nursing and Rehab. This is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River and WXBC1043.com. Bluegrass Lumber and Hardware is your local source for building and home improvement projects. We all know that the kitchen is the heart of the home. Let Bluegrass Lumber make your home a more welcoming place with upgraded cabinetry and countertops. Bluegrass Lumber does it all, from selection to measurement to installation. Not only does a kitchen upgrade make your home more valuable, but it will make holidays and mealtimes more special. Come see us at Bluegrass Lumber and Hardware on Highway 60 in Hardensburg. The Cloverport Sports Center, where the score at halftime has the Breckenridge County Fighting Tigers Leading the Cloverport Aces 42 to 26. Lee Brandlett with you from the Sports Center, Breckenridge County, and Cloverport. A ragged contest at times in the first half. We had ties of the ball game at two, seven, and nine. Breckenridge County then went on a 10-0 run to take a 19 to nine lead early in the second quarter. The closest Cloverport could draw from that point was at eight, at 21 to 13. The Tigers would extend their lead back out to double digits at 27 or 24-13. They would move it to their biggest lead of the night right before halftime, 42-24, before a basket by the Aces puts the current margin at 42-26. Tonight's halftime show brought to you by JLM Services on Ballpark Road in Hardensburg. This is Fighting Tigers Sports from 104.3 The River at WXBC1043.com. It's that time again. Time for Joe and Tobacco to help you get your job done. 
There's no job too big or small for JBB. We're committed to making sure that our team of operators, drivers, plumbers, staff, and equipment are some of the best in the business. So stop by 214 Old Highway 60 or call us at 756-2946. Germany Backo Plumbing and Rental have been proudly serving and supporting Brookridge County and the Fighting Tiger football team. From all of us at JBB, Go Tigers! Back with you at the Cloverport Sports Center. Breckenridge County leads Cloverport at halftime, 42 to 26. First half scoring first for Breckenridge County. They're being led by Devin Spalding, who got the start tonight. Spalding with 13 points here at the Midway Park on three. Joe Benabaco plumbing and metal three-point baskets, two field goals in the ball game as well. It's 11 going to Jackson Lee coming off the bench tonight with 11, as we mentioned. From there, the scoring drops off five points of the ball game to Braden Carmen. Hunter Barr with four points as he was saddled with first half foul trouble. From there, it is three points of the ball game to Chase Hardesty. Two points to Wyatt Burnett, two points to Leland Board, one point to Lane Tall, Colton Miller, Lance Poole, Jonah Miller have all seen playing tonight, tonight for the Tigers, but have not scored. For Cloverport, they're being led in scoring right now by Cole Weatherholt. He has 12 points at halftime. From there, it's six points going to Dorsey Emery. Four points of the game to Caden Greenwood. Two points to Connor Lagadinos. And two points to Weston Perkins. Thaddeus Hall and Joseph Brown among those who have seen playing time tonight for the Aces, but have not scored. Coming up on Friday night, be sure to tune in. We'll name our Subway Player of the Week, brought to you by Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hartensburg. Our first recipient was... Finding Tiger senior Hunter Barr for his 21-point performance in the game against Grayson County last Tuesday night. Player of the Week brought to you by our friends at Subway on Old Highway 60 in Hardensburg. Keep an eye on the foul situation here as a number of players with some issues. Hunter Barr with three fouls in the first half. Jackson Lee, Braden Carmen each with two by my book. Batting is hauled across the way for Cloverport has three personal fouls. 42 to 26 is the halftime score. The Fighting Tigers leading the Cloverport Aces at the midway point. A reminder coming up Friday night. Fighting Tigers and Lady Tigers return back to Tiger Arena where they will take on the Mead County Green Waves and Lady Waves. We'll begin coverage at around 5.15 for the girls game at 5.30. The boys game will follow at around 7 o'clock on Friday night. Still a half to go in this one. And right now, Breckenridge County enjoys a 16-point lead over the Cloverport Aces by the score of 42 to 26. That will take care of the halftime show brought to you by JLM Services on Ballpark Road in Hardensburg. This is Fighting Tigers Sports from 104.3 The River at WXBC1043.com. Are you aware of all the health care services offered right here in Breckenridge County? Allison Mattingly here from Breckenridge Health to let you know there are so many services we provide right here so you don't have to travel far. Surgery, new providers, ear, nose and throat, outpatient therapy services, cardiac rehab and so much more. To find out more about the services offered call 270-756-7000 or go to www.mybreckhealth.org. With you here at Tiger Arena or at the Cloverport Sports Center <coughs> as Breckenridge County just getting back from the locker room here as the second half about ready to get underway. Tigers trail in this ball game or lead in this ball game rather 42 to 26 though at times it feels like it has been a struggle for this Tiger team. We had early ties at two seven and nine. Breckenridge County only able to break the game open late first quarter, early second on a 10-0 run. The Tigers were able to build their lead straight out by the end of the half, led by as many as 18 before a late basket by the Aces closed the margin back down to 16. Cloverport basketball to begin this third quarter of play. Report bringing out Cole Weatherholt. Here's a three-point attempt on the way, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hunter Barr for Breckenridge County. 
across the time strike. Leland Board with it, gets it over to Jonah Miller. Breckenridge County returning to the starting five alignment. Three-point shot, no good. Here's Hunter Barr on the follow, puts it back up and in. Hunter Barr had to sit out much of the first half in foul trouble. Gets his sixth point of the ball game, gives Breckenridge County a 44-26 lead. 7.25 to go here in the third quarter. Thaddeus Hall gets the ball back to Cole Weatherholt. Here's the ball knocked away, picked up by Weston Perkins. As the ball still on the floor, picked up by Colton Miller for Breckenridge County. Tigers on the run. Miller tries, a little scoop shot, got it. Colton Miller's first point to the ball game. Gives Breckenridge County a 20-point lead at 46-26. And the Tigers pick up the loose ball. Hunter Barr with the basketball for Breckenridge County. Tigers moving to the right side of your radio dial. As Colton Miller drains it, Joe Bennett back home, plenty and Reynolds, three-point basket. Miller with five points in the ball game. Breckenridge County with a 23-point lead and will get the ball back as Cloverport commits a travel. And Coach Jason Hurst is going to take a timeout. Six minutes, 44 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Breckenridge County 49, Cloverport 26. This is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River at WXBC1043.com. At Wright Implement, you'll find the full line of John Deere mowers, gators, tractors, ag equipment, John Deere apparel, toys, and more, along with a complete line of steel and Honda power equipment. And we have a parts and service department that's second to none. Wright Implement has 15 locations throughout Kentucky and Southern Indiana to serve you. The right equipment, the right service, and always the right price. Wright Implement, serving great customers like you since 1936. Online at WrightIMP.com. 6.43 left to go in this ball game. It is Breckenridge County basketball with a 23-point lead. Tigers with the basketball. Colton Miller gets it underneath to Hunter Barr, who puts it up and in. Breckenridge County is open with a 9-0 run to start this half. Barr with his eighth point of the ball game, and the Tigers now lead 51-26. Weatherhold across the time stripe for the Aces. Gets the ball down low. Weatherhold back from Thaddeus Hall, but we get a whistle to the foul on Breckenridge County. That will be on Jonah Miller. First team foul of the second half, and that'll send Weatherhold to the free throw stripe. He's four of five in the ball game, has 12 points to lead the Aces scoring. First free throw on the way is no good. Weatherholt will get another attempt here. 6-10 remaining in the third quarter. Breckenridge County has never trailed in this ball game, although there were ties at 2-7-9 before the Tigers went on a 10-0 run to take the lead and have never trailed as Weatherholt knocks down the first free throw, second free throw. 51-27 the score. Hunter Barr, turnaround jumper too strong. Fight for the rebound is pulled down by Cloverport's Connor Lagadinos. Lagadinos calls out the play before crossing the time stripe where he's met my Leland Board. Lagadinos goes on the drive on the right side. He'll pull up 17-footer on the way as an air ball. Jonah Miller will let that one go out of bounds. And Breckenridge County will get it back with 5.42 to go here in the third quarter. Jonah Miller will inbounds to Colton Miller who will bring the ball up the floor. Aces show 2-3 zone, although Tigers have three lined up to the near side of the court. Down in the corner, Leland Board with it. Board looking, brings the ball out front. Devin Spalding gets it to Hunter Barr. Barr drives inside, spins, puts it off the glass, no good, but draws the foul and will head to the line. Foul will be on Cloverport's Thaddeus Hall. That's four fouls on Hall. And that'll send Hunter Barr to the free throw stripe. Barr's first trip to the line tonight has eight points of the ball game. First free throw attempt is short. He'll get another one here. Barr again saddled with some foul trouble in the first half. Chase Hardesty will check into the ball game for Breckenridge County as Barr gets one more free throw attempt here. On the way and good. Nine for Barr, and that's 52-27. Into the front court with it. 
Weatherhold takes the basketball from Hall. Hall. Here is the ball kicked away, picked up by Jonah Miller for Breckenridge County. Miller running the other way, lays it off the glass, doesn't get the shot, but draws the foul. Hall holding up both of his arms. And Thaddeus Hall has fouled out of the ball game. So at 5.02 to go in the third quarter, Thaddeus Hall's night has come to an end. He leaves with no points as Coach Jason Hurst looks down his bench. And it brings in the substitution. At the line, Jonah Miller will have free throws. First free throw attempt is no good. Another attempt upcoming for Miller. Has not scored in the ball game. He changes that as he knocks down the second free throw. Makes it 53-27. Four minutes, 55 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Here is Lagadinos, bounce pass, finds Perkins, has the ball knocked out of his hands, picked up by Breckenridge County. Tigers trying to move it the other way, Spalding trying to rescue a pass that went wide, and it goes out of bounds, and will back to the Cloverport Aces. Cloverport's basketball to bring the length of the floor, Breckenridge County showing full court pressure, 53-27. We'll get a whistle and a foul on at Breckenridge County. That'll be on Devin Spaulding. Picks up his first by my book, team second. Full report basketball to inbounds at side front court with 4.35 remaining here in this third quarter. Lagadinos looking to inbounds the basketball, gets it to Caden uh, Greenwood. Greenwood on the right side, lost the handle, picked up by Hunter Barr. Barr on the run, Tigers have a three on one. He tries to go up for the shot, draws the foul. Foul is gonna be on Connor Lagadinos for the Aces. That'll be his second, team third. And Hunter Barr heads back to the free throw stripe, one of two on the night, has nine points in the ball game. Steps to the line with 424 remaining. Two dribbles, puts the shot in the air, and rolls in. Make it 10 for Barr in the ball game as Jackson Lee will check into the lineup. Second attempt on the way by Hunter Barr is good. 11 for Barr, 55-27 lead for Breckenridge County with 4.17 to go in the third quarter as Cole Weatherholt goes on the drive down the lane and draws contact at a foul from Breckenridge County. Foul's gonna be on Colton Miller. I have him down for his first foul. That'll be the team third against the Tigers. Lagadinos to inbound for the Aces at side. Or at just underneath the basket here, it's Weatherholt splits the defenders, lays it off the glass and in. Weatherholt with 15 points to make it 55-29. At the other end, Jackson Lee's shot is short. Rebound comes down to Weatherholt on the run. Tries to spin away from one man. And they're going to get Colton Miller with his second foul. Inbounds comes in to Weatherholt. He'll square up three from the right side. In and out and back in. Weatherholt with his 18th point of the ball game to make it 55-32. Hunter Barr tries to answer with a three and does not. On the putback, Jackson Lee puts it in and draws the foul. Foul's going to be... On number 20 for Cloverport, Cole Weatherholt. That'll be his second. Lee with his 13th point of the ball game will head to the line to try to complete a three-point play. Does not get his own miss. Free throw line jumper on the follow-up, no good. Rebound batted around, rescued into the hands of Jackson Lee. Lee drives, lays it up, and in. 
Lee with his 15th point of the ball game. Makes it 59-32. Breckenridge County comes up with a loose ball. As Hardesty was looking for a player to drive to the inside. As we're getting substitutions, Hunter Bradley, number 12, checks into the game for Cloverport. Greenwood with the basketball. Gets it to Lagadinos. Coming down to three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Breckenridge County leading 59-32. Here's a runner on the way by Greenwood. Comes up short rebound to Hunter Barr. Tall ahead. Here's Jackson Lee going to pull up. Right side, three-pointer, no good. Chase Hardesty collects the rebound. Gets the ball to Hunter Barr. They find Lee outside. Pass too strong. Gets past Lane Tall. Cloverport picks it up in the front court. Here's a three-pointer on the way. No good. Hunter Barr with it for Breckenridge County. Barr running coast to coast. Is bumped from behind. Player goes to the floor. Foul on Bre against Hunter Barr. So foul is going to be on Cloverport's number 12, Hunter Bradley. He'll pick up his first at the line. Hunter Barr for free throws with 2.35 left to go in this third quarter. Barr knocks down the free throw. That's his 12th point of the ball game. 60 to 32. Second attempt on the way in and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Perkins, pass intercepted by Barr, who stuffs it. Perkins got the rebound, was trying to run an outlet, but right into the hands of Hunter Barr, who was all alone, and put it in to make it 62-32, with 2.19 left to go here in the third quarter. Double team up against the baseline, but a foul on Breckenridge County. They'll get Wyatt Burnett for the foul. That'll be his second. Substitution, Cole Weatherholt will come back into the ball game. Inbounds. Connor Lagadinos for Cloverport with 2.16 remaining in this third quarter. Tigers have slowly pulled away in this ball game as the ball kicked away. It will stay with Cloverport off the leg of Hunter Barr. Inbounds. Lagadinos with 2.15 left to go here in the third quarter. Lagadinos, another kick ball by Hunter Barr. Barr now with 14 points of the ball game to lead Tigers scoring. Breckenridge County up 62 to 32. Here's the ball out of bounds. As Breckenridge County will get it back following the turnover, Tigers have Lane Tall, Chase Hardesty, Wyatt Burnett, and Hunter Barr in the lineup. Tigers with the basketball in the front court with 2.04 left to go here. Here's Tall going to square up for a Joe Benabaco plumbing and rental three-point basket. 65-32 is the score. Tall with his fourth point of the night. Weatherholt brings the ball across the time stripe to Lagadinos. Lagadinos has the ball knocked away. Scramble picked up by Hunter Barr. Barr will hold it up for the Tigers. Gets it over to Chase Hardesty. Here's a three-point attempt on the way. Good. Three-point basket for Breckenridge County. 68-32 with a minute 25 to go. And we get a whistle. And a stoppage in play as we get Colton Miller into the ball game. Lane Tall comes up hobbling. Tall will sit down as the clock is arrested with a minute 24 left to go here in the third quarter. Breckenridge County now leads in this ball game 68 to 32. Tigers have pulled away in this ball game from the second quarter on. As it'll be Cloverport basketball at side 
backcourt with a minute 24 left to go. And again, with a 36-point margin, that should be running clock. In the front court, Lagadinos with it. He'll launch a long three-pointer that is no good. Rebound fought for, picked up by Weatherholt for Cloverport. Ball is intercepted by Chase Hardesty. Hardesty drives, lays it off the glass, but it's fouled before he was trying the lob for Hunter Barr. But we get a foul on a Cloverport. And that will send Chase Hardesty to the free throw stripe. Hardesty has three points of the ball game, will be like his first free throw attempt of the night. No good. One more attempt upcoming. Hardesty with one more attempt on the night. Free throw is on the way, and this one rolls in. 69-32 as we're inside the final minute of this third quarter. Three-point attempt on the way. Good at the other end for Cloverport. Makes it 69-35. to And Breckenridge County turns the ball over. Now the running clock as we head to this final 30 seconds of the quarter. Margin back to 34, but the 35-point threshold has been crossed, so we will go the rest of the way. Trenton Hendrick into the ball game for Cloverport, down to 16 seconds remaining. Burnett will bring it across the time stripe, down to 10 seconds. Here is Braden Carmen in the paint, puts a shot up off the glass, no good. Fights for his own miss, puts it back up, can't get it to go. Rebound comes to Cloverport, and that will take care of the third quarter. We have reached the end of the third quarter here at the Cloverport Sports Center. It is Breckenridge County 69, Cloverport 35. Tonight's third quarter brought to you by Commonwealth Machining and Rupert Askins Lane in Harnett. This is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River at WXBC1043.com. How many times have you called someplace and heard this? For customer service, press 1. At First State Bank, when you call one of their three locations, you'll hear this. First State Bank, this is Michelle. How may I help you? From opening a checking or savings account to home or commercial loans, you'll get a friendly voice ready to assist with your banking needs. Call or stop by today and find out why for more than 100 years, First State Bank, where your friends bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Online at firststatebankky.com. Fourth quarter here at the Cloverport Sports Center. Lee Brandlett with you as Breckenridge County, eight minutes away from picking up their first win of the season, leading 69-35. to Leland Board across the time stripe for Breckenridge County. Braxton Tall also in the ball game, along with Braden Carmen, Wyatt Burnett, and Lance Poole. Baseline jumper by Burnett is no good. Carmen goes back up, puts it up and in, and draws the foul. Carmen with seven points on the night. Foul is going to be on number 20 for Cloverport. That is Cole Weatherholt. He picks up his third. Carmen will head to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Tigers already up 71-35. Knocks down the free throw to make it 72-35. Tigers struggled in the first half, although did start to pull away. Tigers picked up the intensity to start the quarter and have pushed the margin out now to 37, their biggest of the night. Here's Weatherhold drives the basket, drives, draws the contact, and will head to the free throw line. Foul on Breckenridge County will be on Wyatt Burnett. That'll be his third at the free throw line. Will be Cole Weatherhold. Weatherhold has 18 points of the ball game. Gets a pair of free throws here. First free throw on the way is good. 72-36 is the score as Jacob Henning checks into the lineup. Second free throw on the way is good. 
72-37 the score, 7-13 left in regulation. Heading with the basketball on the right side, spins, kicks it down low to Carmen, lost the handle, still on the floor, picked up by Breckenridge County. Three-point attempt on the way, good. It's a three-pointer for Leland Board. A Joe Benabaco plumbing and metal three-point basket on the night. Makes it 75 to 37. 650 left to go in this game. As we get a whistle, as Weatherhold drives the inside, draws contact. And that'll be the fourth foul of the night on Cole Weatherhold as he's whistled for the charge. With 636 left to go in the ball game, Caden Greenwood will check into the lineup for Weatherhold. Six and a half minutes left to go in this game. Running clock as Braxton Tall inbounds into Leland Board. Braxton Tall gets it to Braden Carmen, steps inside, banks it off the glass. Good. Basket for Braden Carmen. He's got now 10 in the ball game. 77 37. Breckenridge County with their biggest lead of the night as we head down to six minutes left to go in this ball game. Well, report with the basketball. Carmen will get the ball to Joseph Brown. Caden Greenwood has the ball knocked out of his hands by Jacob Henning. And Cloverport will reset at side front court with 545 left to go in this ball game. If you're coming across the dial from earlier, Breckenridge County's Lady Tigers won 59 to 5 over the Lady Aces to improve to 3 and 1 on the season. Cloverport with the basketball down 40. Greenwood with the basketball being guarded by Leland Board. Out front here's Weston Perkins drives down the lane. Draws the contact from Breckenridge County. Or no, they will actually. Foul will be on Jacob Henning for the Tigers. Henning picks up his first foul. At the line will be Weston Perkins. Had a two-pointer back of the second quarter. First free throw is on the way and good. One more attempt upcoming for Perkins. As he draws Cloverport to within 77-38. One more attempt on the way, no good. Rebound pulled down by Breckenridge County's Braden Carmen. In the front court. Henning gets the ball to Leland Board. Board steps inside, free throw no good. Here's Braden Carmen on the put back up and in. Carmen now with 12 in the ball game to make it 79-38. Under five minutes left to go in this ball game. Cloverport with the basketball and a travel call against Trenton Hendrick. Breckenridge County basketball to bring three-quarter length of the floor with 4.37 and the clock continues to roll. Leland Board, Devin Spaulding, Lance Poole, Jacob Henning and Braden Carmen in the ball game for Breckenridge County. Here's Carmen banks it off the glass, good. Carmen with 14 points in the ball game gives the Tigers an 81-38 lead. 4-13 left to go in this ball game. Hendrick with the basketball for Cloverport. Jaden Schaus, number 35, into the ball game for the Aces as Greenwood fires up a three-pointer, no good. Rebound comes down to Jacob Henning on a foot race, drives to the basket, lays it up and in. Henning with his third point of the ball game. Tigers now lead 83-38, continue to extend the margin. Under four minutes left to go in this ball game. Cloverport with the basketball. Down the corner, Brown gets to Greenwood. He'll fire up a three-pointer that is no good. Race for the rebound, fought for, out of bounds. Last touched by Cloverport. Substitution, Lagadinos will check into the ball game for Perkins. Devin Spalding will inbound for Breckenridge County. With 3.23 left to go in this ball game, Tigers leading 83-38 on their way to their first victory of the season. Board with the basketball, looking for somebody to get it to. Now finds Henning, 12-foot turnaround shot as an air ball. Race for the rebound, controlled by Leland Board. Tigers will reset the offense, Spalding with it. Kicks it over the corner. Here's Henning driving the baseline, bounce pass, finds Braden Carmen. Gets the high bounce and falls in. Carmen with his 16th point of the ball game. Makes it 85-38, under three minutes left to go in the ball game. Lance, back up! 
Greenwood with the basketball for Cloverport. Kicks the ball over to Lagadinos. Connor Lagadinos will bring it out at long range. Lagadinos looking. Gets the ball to Hendrick. Now Lagadinos with it. Under two and a half minutes left to go in this ball game. Bounce pass. Here's Greenwood driving the baseline. Puts the high runner up and in. Greenwood with his sixth point of the ball game. Makes it 85 to 40. Substitution Braxton Tall will check into the ball game for Breckenridge County. Reset the Tigers offense. It is Devin Spalding, Leland Board, Braxton Tall, Jonah Miller, and Jacob Henning. Here is Henning gets inside, puts up the shot. Basket won't count, travel. A minute 45 left to go, Cloverport basketball. Connor Lagadinos, Caden Greenwood, Cole Weatherholt, Jaden Schaus, and Trenton Hendrick in the game for Cloverport down to a minute 30 left to go in this ball game. Here's a three-pointer on the way, good by Connor Lagadinos. Five points for Lagadinos to make it 85-43. Here's a three-pointer on the way. No good for Breckenridge County. Rebound comes down to Lagadinos. A minute 10 left to go in this contest. Cloverport with the basketball. Hendrick with it, gets it back to Lagadinos as we head to the final minute of regulation. Cloverport spreading the court at this point. Greenwood with it, gets it over to Weatherholt. He'll square up for a three-pointer. In and out, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds, and it'll stay with Cloverport. With 48 seconds left to go in the ball game. Inbounds. Looking, ball knocked to the floor, picked up by Henning. Gets it ahead to Jonah Miller, now out front. Leland Board with it with 33 seconds. Tigers on the run, Braxton Tall goes to the basket and will head to the line after he is fouled. With 25 seconds left to go in the ball game, foul will be on Cole Weatherholt, and that'll be Weatherholt's fifth foul. Weatherholt will leave the night with 20 points in the ball game. With 22.6 seconds left to go, it'll be Braxton Tall going to the free throw line, banks one in. Eighty-six forty-three, the score. One more attempt on the way by Tall, and this one good. Tall with two points, that makes it eighty-seven to forty-three. Final ten, se final twenty seconds of the ball game. Lagadinos casually brings the ball up the floor. He'll cross the time stripe and sit in the corner. Down to eight seconds, down to seven, and that will take care of the ball game. Lagadinos will try one. At the buzzer, cannot get it to go, and there is the final score. Breckenridge County defeating Cloverport tonight by the final score of 87 to 43. Tonight's fourth quarter brought to you by Hardensburg Nursing and Rehab. This is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River at WXVC1043.com. So you've heard us talking about Brandenburg Telecom. We could have chosen any other provider for our phone, internet, TV, and security service, but we chose Brandenburg Telecom. It is not hard to find a good deal these days. What it is hard to find is a provider that delivers the best value of service. That's exactly where we're getting with Brandenburg Telecom. They don't trick you with introductory rates. They don't keep you waiting for service or waiting on the phone. When they say they're going to do something, they do it. Brandenburg Telecom are people who live and work and play in my community. They're part of this community, and that's why they care. If you only have one service with Brandenburg Telecom, you're missing out on their other great services. Give them a chance. You won't be disappointed. I'm ready for the program. Back with you with the Cloverport Sports Center where Breckenridge County has picked up their first win of the season with an 87-43 victory over the Cloverport Aces this evening. It was a, a tight contest for about the first eight minutes as we had score ties at two, seven and nine as both teams struggled to find momentum in this ball game. 
Although the Tigers did take a lead at the end of the first quarter, 15-9 as part of a 10-0 run that took the lead out to 19-9. And from there, the closest Cloverport could draw was eight on a couple of occasions at 19-11 and 21-13. Breckenridge County was able to build the lead out to as many as 18 in the first half at 42-24. The margin 16 at halftime, 42-26. The Tigers, though, got out to a 9-0 start to begin the third quarter and never looked back from there as they had taken a 51-26 lead. They would lead at the end of the third quarter, 69-35, allowing Coach Jeff LaGrange to go deep into his bench as the Tigers continue to extend the margin out in the ball game. They led by as many as 47 at 85-38 before the final margin settles back at 44, 87 to 43 is the final score. Tigers improved to one and three on the season. Cloverport falls to 0 and four. We'll be back with a look at final scoring. Coming up in just a moment, post game coverage brought to you by TGH Machine and Welding and Arms Family Chiropractic. This is Fighting Tigers Sports from 104.3 The River. Experience the difference of the Big Green Egg Ceramic Cooker from Irvington Gas Company. It's a smoker, a grill, an oven, all in one. It's easy to start reaching cooking temperatures in just 10 minutes with temperature control so you can cook to perfection. It's safer to use and it's easy to clean up. Stop by Irvington Gas Company on Highway 79 to see the Big Green Egg and other gas grills available. Irvington Gas Company, serving this area for more than 75 years. If you need home medical equipment, rely on Taylor Pharmacy. They deliver home medical equipment such as oxygen, lip chairs, hospital bins, and CPAP machines to Breckenridge and surrounding counties. They have everything a patient needs for recuperating at home. Taylor Pharmacy does so much more than fill prescriptions. They carry a full line of diabetic shoes, have a gift department, and of course make delicious tailor-made fudge in a variety of flavors that include sugar-free. Stop by Taylor Pharmacy in Hardinsburg and see why your family and the Taylor Pharmacy family make a good team. Back with you with the Cloverport Sports Center. Breckenridge County defeats Cloverport tonight by the final score of 87 to 43. Final scoring in the ball game first for Breckenridge County. They would put four players into double figures on the night, being led unofficially by Braden Carmen, who finishes the night with 16 points in the ball game. From there, it was 14 in the game, 200 bar, 13 each to Jackson Lee and to Devin Spalding. From there, the scoring drops down. It was five points of the ball game going to Leland Board, five points to Braxton Tall, and five points to Colton Miller. Four on the night going to Lane Tall before he left with an injury issue. Four points on the night to Chase Hardesty. From there, it was two points of the ball game to Wyatt Burnett. One point on the night to Chase Hardesty. Three points of the ball game to Jacob Henning as well. So recapping in no particular order, Tall, Lane Tall finishes the night with four. Jackson Lee, 13. Hunter Barr, 14. Wyatt Burnett, two. Braden Carmen, 16. Jacob Henning, three. Colton Miller, five. Chase Hardesty, four. Jonah Miller, one. Braxton Tall, five. Devin Spaulding, 13. And Leland Board, five. Four, Cloverport. Their record falls to 0-4 on the season. They see Cole Weatherholt lead all scorers on the night. He finishes with 20 points in the ball game. It's six going to Dorsey Emery, six to Caden Greenwood, five points in the ball game to Connor Lagadinos, three points of the game to Joseph Brown, and three points to Weston Perkins. 87 to final 43 is the final score. The Fighting Tigers defeat Cloverport here this evening. We'll take one more break and wrap things up for the evening. As you're listening to the post-game show brought to you by TGH Machine and Welding and Arms Family Chiropractic, this is Fighting Tiger Sports from 104.3 The River. Bluegrass Lumber and Hardware is your local source for building and home improvement projects. We all know that the kitchen is the heart of the home. Let Bluegrass Lumber make your home a more welcoming place with upgraded cabinetry and countertops. Bluegrass Lumber does it all, from selection to measurement to installation. Not only does a kitchen upgrade make your home more valuable, but it will make holidays and mealtimes more special. Come see us at Bluegrass Lumber and Hardware on Highway 60 in Hardinsburg. It's that time again. Time for Joe and Tobacco to help you get your job done. 
There's no job too big or small for JBB. We're committed to making sure that our team of operators, drivers, plumbers, staff, and equipment are some of the best in the business. So stop by 214 Old Highway 60 or call us at 756-2946. Germany Backo Plumbing and Rental have been proudly serving and supporting Breckenridge County and the Fighting Tiger football team. From all of us at JBB, go Tigers. Back with you at the Cloverport Sports Center talking with assistant coach Josh Mitchum, giving him a little bit of grief. He had to go with the clean shaven look tonight, of course, at a time where I've also picked up a little bit of a post holiday beard here. 87 43, the final score. Breckenridge County picks up their first win of the season. Earlier this evening, the Lady Tigers with a victory over Cloverport by the score of 59 to 5. For Cloverport and Breckenridge County, their next games are with Meade County. The Aces and Lady Aces play in Brandenburg on Thursday night. Then Meade County will come to Tiger Arena on Friday night. Pre-game coverage at 5.15 with the girls game with the boys game to follow. A reminder coming up tomorrow night inside Tiger Nation at 5 o'clock. We'll talk with Coach LaGrange and Coach Mormon about tonight's game as well as the recent games and upcoming games on the schedule. That will take care of it. For here from the Cloverport Sports Center, thanks to Simon Drain back at the uh, studio along with Gene Webster as well. Shanna Bramlett here on video work as well. Final score of the two games tonight. And the game just concluded. Breckenridge County defeats Cloverport 87-43. Earlier, the Lady Tigers defeat the Cloverport Lady Aces 59-5. This has been Fighting Tigers Sports from 104.3 The River, WXBC1043.com, the uh, 104.3 The River YouTube channel and Facebook, and also the 104.3 The River mobile app. This has been Breckenridge County Fighting Tiger Basketball on WXBC, brought to you by Wright Implement Company, Taylor Pharmacy, Joe Benabaco Plumbing and Rental, Irvington Gas Company, First State Bank, Bluegrass Lumber and Hardware, Breckenridge Health, and by Brandenburg Telecom. This has been a presentation of 104.3 The River, the sports voice of Breckenridge County.